Paul Sefudeski again, sitting here with Tony nominee, Micah McElroy. Hey. Um, okay, not only amazing actor, singer, also in charge of Broadway Inspirational Voices, does all the brilliant vocal arrangements, also director, well, first of all, was in Violet, now directing Violet at NYU. Yes. Blah, blah, what goes around comes around. But Michael and I, just like my friend Andrea, who, by the way, is sitting and watching this, hey, Andrea, we've known each other for a long time. <laughs> because <laughs> acting-wise, you don't reveal. Let's just say more than five years. So Michael, Times many ten. years. <laughs> Times ten. Times <laughs> ten. So when you have friends for that long, you have signature signature jokes. Whenever uh, you greet the person, you do the same joke, even though it's you don't even laugh anymore. It just becomes a signature greeting. So Michael and I, when we first met, I was doing Dream Girls at a theater. That's how we made names. <laughs> Michael was in the audience. So Michael, first tell what you were thinking. Well, it was my, it was, uh, my first time seeing the show, but I'd had the cast album for many many years. And I was actually coming to see a couple friends who were in the show. And this was actually before I graduated from college. So this was late, late 80s. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was watching the show. And as the show was going along, I knew the vocal ranges of the, of the performers. And there was one character. And I was just like, hmm, <laughs> I, I don't understand what's happening. Because it was, it was a show of altos. Let's just say that. It was a show of Marian Anderson contraltos. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, these women have to sing some high stuff. And then we come to one of my favorite numbers. Now, this is the way it's supposed to sound. And Michael was like, I wonder how she's going to manipulate her voice to belt that amazing high note. And so this is what it's supposed to sound like. So she goes, um, um, oh, now when are you two going to stop all this fighting? Sounds better than this normally. And she goes, yeah, well, it's between me and two. I'm as much a part of this group as anybody else. And she goes, and I'm tired. Yep, I'm tired. That's a crazy note. And I'm tired. Help me, I'm tired. So Michael was like, wow, how is she going to flip it? Is she going to mix it? Is she going to belt it? This was the solution she came up with. Hit it. Um, yeah, well, it's between me two. I'm as much a part of this as anybody else. And I'm tired. Effie, I'm tired. OK, now we have to do it into the camera because on top of the vibrato is also the dead eyes. So one more time. Oh, so yeah. And I'm tired. Yeah. And I'm tired. Yeah. And I'm tired. Every I'm tired. <laughs> what? Tired. What? It's an octave difference. It's the dead. Eye. It's the crazy vibrato. It's the Baptist vibrato. I call it the Baptist. It's the Baptist vibrato. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Church vibrato. And I'm saying this to my friend. I'm like, is she kidding me? So then Act Two comes along, an amazing annual party, which is crazy, just yes. high G after high G. And this was the, the amazing solution. After seven And it's been seven years, and it don't take a smarty to realize that even though a man throws confetti in my face, it still don't make it no party. This ain't no party. I was like, I could have done that. Right, so we became obsessed with it. It's a little over to each other. It's always the dead eyes and the wide robot. So cut to years later, Michael is now starring in Rent on Broadway. I'm living like a big wig on TV writing for the Rosie O'Donnell show. I write this parody song to um, La Vibo M, and it's all about like November's guests. So it's like. It was sweeps. It was for the sweeps. It was sweeps, because in November is sweeps. So it's like November's guests. November's guests, and I'm sort of teaching it to the cast of Rent, like literally like amazing big stars. I'm like, what sounds off? I don't know what sounds awful. I look over at Michael and he's literally singing this. November's guests, November's guests. <laughs> and it cuts through. It, everybody, it doesn't matter. It cuts it's right so, through. It's so <laughs> ugly. Just... It's the above and the below the note. The, here's the note, but here's the vibrato. Yeah. Um, okay, so I thought I'd end this segment uh, with, you know, Michael was Tony nominated for Big River, where he was brilliant, but there was one thing missing from his performance. Uh, so we thought we'd give a little bit of free at last with uh, the ending perhaps the way it should have sounded, and maybe he would have actually won the Tony. Oh, yeah. This would have helped. Oh, free at last. Oh, free. That good? That would have, I would have won. I would have taken it. I'm out.
<laughs> Insane. <laughs>